So jumping right into it, first thing we need here is an image to do this conversion. Yeah, here, we'll just pick this one. You can actually see there's a watermark here. If I we'll just, we'll save it, because we'll get rid of that watermark in the next step. So now that we have the image, uh, we can just jump right into Inkscape and File, Import the image. And it pops, it gives you this pop up about embedding the image, not sort of stuff. Um, and if you ever do have an SVG that is popping up with an embedded image, I know in ESL it'll kick it back out uh, and not accept your SVG if it has embedded uh, images. So using this workaround here will allow you to remove it very easily. Uh, I'll show you that in just a few minutes. So the next step here is to select our image and then select path and trace bitmap. And we can, there's a variety of sections here to choose from. Um, the multi-scans works pretty well. If you choose multi-scans and auto trace, it is extremely slow and might freeze your computer. Um, however, another option that works really well with the line art is color quantization, uh, in which case we're just telling it how many colors are in the image. In this case, black and white, and there was some gray in there, but it's already done a good job of filtering that watermark right out. So when I select OK, it doesn't close this when this tab, it actually keeps it open. So we're going to close it now. And what it actually does here is it, uh, it puts the SVG sitting right on top of your actual image. So since it looks like our SVG is pretty clean, we can actually double click on it here, see all the nodes. Oh, look at that. It, um, our company and image information is down here on the bottom, and we don't really want to carve that in, so we'll just select it. Once we double click and select the nodes, we can drag over these and then delete them out. So now we're left with just the subject SVG. We no longer need this image. There we go. Once we get the little arrows on it, we can just delete. And now we have this here. And since it's an SVG, um, it's scalable, so you can just save it in the scale, or you can size it down uh, using these parameters here. I would typically lock it before. So now that we have the SVG here, uh, this is where kind of the trick comes into play of removing any embedded images. So right now we have the SVG. If we double click on it, we can see all the nodes. And if we wanted to actually edit um, something itself, you can move the nodes or these portion here, adjust the angle of curvature on a specific node. We'll go ahead and back out of that. I liked it the way it was. So we'll keep it just like that. And you can save it the way it is now, although I've noticed that, that typically, doing that process typically embeds the image into the SVG. And if you're using easel, uh, it doesn't like that. So a quick method here is to copy it and then simply open a second instance of Inkscape. Once that opens up, if we paste this back in there and save it now, as the French Bulldog SVG, now we've uh, gotten rid of that embedded image and it's going to work fine and easy.